we had an auction on Monday. We thought we'd have probably six or seven registrations. We ended up with 18. So even just getting those people registered, he had managed to get nine registered prior to the event. And then at the property, we had the two laptops running and registering people there on site. He was traveling for work. So it just made possible for him to still be involved. You can go back to that old fashioned authority to bid. You can get someone to bid on his behalf, but the buyer felt he was still in control of his bidding, which I think sometimes they don't want to hand over and let an agent do the bidding for them. So I just think that that can help with the buyer's psyche of them still feeling it's their call. Without Realtor, that would have been a laborious process of handwriting forms and getting all that done. Whereas it's in the system, their numbers are there. We've directly got them linked to be able to bid. In that situation, 18 bidders, our bidder that won that auction was an online bidder. Yeah, that's been probably the best auction we've had in a long time in terms of the number of registrations. The result was phenomenal. Going through from listing to sale, to list the home, to do our exchanges, online auctions. It's a daily thing for us to be using Realtor. We're using it a lot. The benefit is we can sign and exchange contracts everywhere and anywhere. I've had situations where it's a Friday afternoon, I'm sitting in a dance rehearsal with my daughter and we're trying to get this exchange done. If I didn't have the ability to exchange that on my phone, it wouldn't happen. I guess a really key one, we had a couple of properties that we exchanged the morning of the 23rd of December, right on the Christmas break last year. So that's Saturday morning. We're about to have our last open home before the Christmas break. And we managed to get those exchanges done and cancel that open because the exchange had been facilitated. If we'd waited for solicitors, we would have been waiting two to three weeks to figure out whether it had been exchanged or not. In an age that we're in, people want more information and they want it faster. So we're very much, with the technology that we've got, trying to provide them with day-to-day -day updates on where their campaigns at. It's the first point of Realtor that I would generally use. It just helps us to get through more proposals, getting that information out more quickly. Once you've got the pitch proposal set up, it's like 10 minutes. Once I've filled out, I have a checklist that I provide to my team, which has all of the information from the appraisal. Basically, I pop on there the best key features of the property, who I think their buyers are. I put all of that key information onto my spreadsheet, and then the team's just in planning that onto the pitch itself. When I have got my own templates built the way that I wanted them, which is really, really good because we're all here and working together as a team, but ultimately I want my information to be delivered in a different way. So once it's set up and looks the way you want it, it's very, very easy to drop everything in and to get that out the door. Before Realtor, I had one that you had to type every single thing into and it would take half an hour, up to an hour to get a proposal out. Whereas now we can be getting four or five proposals out the door in that time. I also really like the price update feature. When I am touching base with people and I ask the question, would it be helpful to just get a little bit of an update on what else is happening around you? That price update can be out the door in five minutes. I think being a female agent is a unique proposition out there in the marketplace. Certainly there are a number of amazing female agents in the area, but predominantly we're still a very male based industry. I just think people respond differently to having a female in this position and we just get a lot of feedback in regards to communication levels, understanding what people are going through, empathy for their situations as well, be they vendors or buyers. At the moment I've got listings from pure investment purposes to new developments that have just been built to your family transitions, upsize, downsize, deceased estates. We're having to deal with every different kind of client group that there is, absolutely adaptable. Every situation's different, every story is different, every purpose of selling is different. So just taking that time to figure out what the end goal is with clients, that's the most important thing, making sure that you're on the same page.